Okay, now that I have a dragon head, um, I'm gonna try to open up the mouth a little bit. So I'm gonna, I will need a tool for this. Um, if you wanna keep the mouth closed, that is okay. Uh, you don't have to add a mouth, but I'm gonna use this plastic um, knife I got. Uh, it's, not, it's not sharp at all. So I'm not worried about cutting myself. You'll see I'm kind of holding it on the top like this. I'm just lightly going around the edges. So if this knife, there we go. You can also use a toothpick for this if that's all you have right now, a toothpick. You can use a toothpick to sort of just kind of whittle and scrape an opening for a mouth. go. There's the beginning of a mouth for the dragon. I'm going to pull up my image over here now, take a look at it, see what I can add next. I think I'm going to add some eyes. Okay, so for his, his eyes, I decided to get a, a different color, so I was using gray. Now I just took a little tiny piece of this white. I'm not using the whole block. I'm going to save this for another sculpture later. <clears throat> so I'm going to take this, take little tiny pieces of this white, and just kind of roll it in between your fingers. You could put it in your hands like this too. It's a little smaller, but it does work to get it rounded. And I'm going to try to make two of these that are the same size. If they're not the same size, Eh, doesn't really matter, does it? Um, on that note too, I know we're, look, we're looking at pictures and you're watching me make this and it, it it's a lot. Your sculpture of your dragon, it is not going to look like mine. And that's a good thing. We want that to happen. Your sculpture is not gonna look like this drawing or this drawing. It's just not gonna happen. It's going to look a little bit different. You're just going to be in your style. Uh, and that's a good thing. We kind of want that to happen. We want them to be a little bit different. So here I've added two eyes. Maybe I'll go back to that gray color. Take a little tiny piece of this gray. For a pupil. And that here, another little tiny piece. Over here. There we go. So now my dragon has eyes. It's coming to life already, right? All right, now that my dragon has eyes, I'm going to add some eyebrows. So I picked out a new color. This is, I have black in my pack. You can use uh, your first color or introduce a new one if you would like. So I'm gonna make these little tiny rolls, like a bushy eyebrows. So here's three. I'm just gonna start adding these up here. So there's three little bushy eyebrows. Add a couple more over here. Remember, if you're having trouble doing this, that's okay. You can make your eyebrows different. You know, they don't have to be exactly like mine. Remember that when you're doing these projects with me. You're at home, you might be by yourself working on this right now. Just do your best and have fun with it, you know? And just remember, it's not gonna look like mine, it's gonna be a little bit different, and that's a very good thing. We want that to happen. 
So now my dragon's got some eyebrows. How about back down to the nose? It's going to simplify the nose a little bit <clears throat> and make it into a ball. So sort of a rounded shape like this for the nose. We can leave it like that or <clears throat> I can start to join it a little bit like we did with the brow earlier. So you could use your finger. <clears throat> if you're having trouble reaching in, you can use the side of a toothpick like this. See how the toothpick can come in here and sort of just like smooth it out. And how about that, uh, this pen tool? So I found an old pen. I'm gonna use this to give the dragon little nostrils. There we go, little nostrils for the dragon. And <clears throat> you'll notice in this picture, both of them, they have these little wisps coming off their off their uh, snouts. This is usually a characteristic of a fish. So if you know anything about fish, uh, like catfish or carp, they have these little things on the side of their uh, noses and faces. They're called tendrils. So I'm gonna add some of these uh, couple of tendrils. I'm gonna use black. You can sort of roll like this, too, on a table. Get this long and skinny. I'm going to let this separate, actually. <clears throat> I have enough here for two. So I rolled that one out. I rolled this one out. They're pretty similar in size and length. And I'm going to come here on the side, sort of twist it a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to let mine stick to the body or the, um, the snout a little bit. So it's hard to have it stick out like this permanently. It might get kind of sag and fall off. So I'm just going to kind of get mine a little bit closer to, to the snout first. Maybe a little bit here a little bit there. There we go. Starting to look like a Chinese dragon, huh? <laughs>